Hello everybody, it is me and Briscatuzzi, and today we are here talking about The Rising of the Shield Tour, episode 22. Wow. <laughs> Bitch son, mine son, is still trying with her antics. He tried to poison all of all of Nofumi's party and himself, but then she got caught by, of course, Melty, because Melty was watching her the whole entire time, because when she, cause like, she's like worried about everyone. Uh, it was really a uh, cute and weird seeing the queen. Like Nofumi mentions Fitoria in this episode, and the queen just goes crazy. Now, like, like I uh, like I've said before, I read the manga, and she was not this crazy for her in the manga. <laughs> maybe maybe it's different, light novel, web novel, just like usual. But like, man, she was going crazy, and she was like asking Melty to like tell the whole entire story of how it happened, and she was like acting all cute and stuff like that. She started hugging herself because she wants to touch Victoria so much. Just like, wow, that was a very crazy moment. Uh, we also saw uh, Raftali and Philo finally get a class upgrade, but apparently it, it didn't work. They only got a stat upgrade, but they didn't uh, upgrade their classes at all because they couldn't pick one. And I remember this from the manga that, like, that apparently, now Fumi said that apparently Philo's didn't work because she, because of the upgrade that she got from Victoria when she got, like, the, the hair strand popping out. But apparently she also couldn't choose, but, it, but also Raftali couldn't choose. And I remember that being the case because in the manga, Nafumi got, like, even in this episode, Nafumi got, had, was able to, like, do it himself, which I think it would have been better because, like, we know that, you know that Philo said that she couldn't pick one. If she did pick one, then, like, she would pick a stupid one unless she picked the right one. Because she would, like, now we would know them better because he, like, knows, like, their their abilities and stuff like that. Since he's the one that just, like, uses his shield to protect them most of the time unless he uses an attack shield. Which, I guess, that makes sense. But then, I guess, like, they'll just need to look into their hearts since they had to choose freely. But they didn't choose, so just a staff upgrade. After that, we saw the queen hold a party. And then all the heroes were, like, in a room, which I guess is, like, some... Which I was wondering what the title was last episode, because it said the Four Heroes Council. And I guess their council was just them with the queen in a, in a dark room, just talking to each other. And apparently during the party, they just didn't talk to each other until Nafumi had a flashback of Vittoria, where he where he said, Let, let's talk about this, and gave the queen the order to have the conversation. And they started talking about an island. And apparently they're going to go to an island where there's an EXP boost. And I remember people telling me, and I remember hearing about this, that, that uh, this world that they're in... Uh, the all of the, the other three heroes know about this world because like they're able to play it as a game in their world. But Nafumi, in his world, this game never existed or something like that, which I guess is a little bit unfair. But I have no idea why like the other heroes, especially the spirit hero, need to be be on him about it and make him angry when like when like they should know that all of their worlds are different. They like mentioned this in the first episode, but like I have no idea if that stuff in the first in the first episode of them being in the human world is like was uh was even in the light novel or web novel like is that is it is, is that like starting point there but uh we also saw that they changed the church instead of it having three symbols they made it so that way the main symbol was the shield and then the other heroes had like their like small ones up in the sky so now they have the four heroes on the church uh the armored guy from Yusuke's party got got very uh mad at demi humans and also was talking bad about nafumi Raftali ended up retaliating and took her sword out and they're about to fight but then we it just skipped over it because i only watched the first nine minutes but uh so saw that nafumi is uh is apparently we ha he he did this before nafumi did this before back in like episode two and three where he got Raftalia being really worried because nafumi said like i won't be here for that long so when, when we're done with the waves i'll just leave but then they ended up having a deal where nafumi said that he would take Raftalia with him if he could to back to his world but then now he's saying that he's okay with leaving them here so we have some like some of that little tiny spice of like little tiny pieces of drama right there for no reason because nafumi needs to convert to his old, his old self for some reason but uh, yeah, so far this episode is pretty good, and I'll be back in a few minutes for the rest of it. Okay, so I just watched from about nine minutes to about fifteen minutes, and yeah, just like just like right now at, at the fifteen thirty mark, when Nafumi's just like, oh, I wanted to tell them about me learning this thing. I need to tell the other heroes, man, because I've read the manga. Like this happens so much where Nafumi wants to like do something with them, but then they always leave. Like he wants to tell them something, they're somewhere else. Like man, that happened. I think that after this moment, that happens like three to four times. Like just like <laughs> there's like nowhere to be found until like serious moments that need to be happening. Like dude, I hate it when that happens. Like like the author just throws them somewhere else because because you need to have that like conflict of like him not being able to tell them in time. But uh, 
the fight with Rataya and the armored dude just wow that whole entire like party just went crazy like every every single other one of the other par- heroes parties just started like clashing and fighting some of them were helping like Nofumi's party while the rest of them were just fighting them all and like we there was also maid servants that were watching them earlier uh, the green-haired girl from last episode got like a pie in her face, which was pretty funny. And then, like, man, like, the, like it seemed like the the armed guy wasn't drunk anymore. He was just being serious and was just insulting Nafumi the whole entire time. And then Raftaya got him, got him in a hold and was about to slice his throat. But then, like, she might have been joking just a little bit to like maybe not kill him. But man, it would have been very, very out of nowhere if she had sliced his throat. But I do know that he's a character. That does show up later on that island that they were talking about before. So then we we saw the uh, the queen was telling uh was telling all the uh, of the all the heroes that uh, they need to work together and stuff like that. And they need to exchange information and they need to be more together and on stuff par. But then they all disagree and stuff for Nofumi. Nofumi's just just not talking because he's just in agreement by being silent. Because silence is always an option. Uh, the queen ends up saying that all the heroes will die in the next wave except for Nofumi, which I guess makes sense because I was thinking about it in my head because it makes sense because th- they're all a higher level than him but somehow they suck but he's a lower level than them and somehow he's he's like above them even even without his rage shield wrath shield he's pretty much can like block anything mostly if he like like if he like tries hard enough after that we saw them all having a discussion where they decided to retrieve information because they wanted because the other three heroes wanted to know about Nafumi's wrath shield but of course he doesn't tell them when he could like literally he just doesn't tell them when he could like it's so easy all he needs to say is is I took a dragon core or whatever. What I have no idea what, how he would say it himself, but he could just say like I took something and fused it to my shield and I, got, and I unlocked it, or I got super pissed off and I unlocked this new shield, which would be super funny because they would just. Uh, I've actually had this thought in my head before. Like they would just be like, "Well, we're pissed off with you. Why don't we have a shield pissed off at the shield hero?" But that's just a funny thing that I thought of in my head, which is just something that I just have. To that, they start talking about their skills, like in tune with his skills, and then we saw just like before when I said how the how like uh, they they know about the game world, but Nafumi doesn't. Is that they know everything about this game, so they're telling him everything that they do, and they say that they have like a copying skill where they can grab like other weapons of theirs, like grab other bows, grab other swords, grab other spears, and they can copy it. So that way they're so that way their weapon can change into different weapons. And then Nafumi, because he didn't know this, he now knows about it. I close seeing that, but after that, they start getting into an argument. Now, to be honest, when this happened in the manga, I thought that they were arguing about them all having different versions of different games. But now, seeing it in the anime, I think that maybe I got misunderstood when I read the manga, and maybe it was just them, like having the dis- disagreement that they had in this episode, and when they were disagreeing on stats and stuff like that, which I guess makes more sense. But maybe I'm maybe I am right or wrong. But uh, after that, we saw Nofumi. Uh, uh, end up getting mad. He slammed his fist on the ground because all the other heroes were arguing with each other instead of Nafumi. So then he just left the room. We saw Nafumi and Raftalia in their room, like apologizing to each other. Uh, Raftalia for ruining the party, and then Nafumi for just uh, walking out on the heroes. And then Nafumi ends up uh, trying to like think about like him. Like he like looks at his shield, and he's and he's like not able to see the copying skill that the other heroes mentioned. But then as he walks out of the room, he looks at it, and I really like it how he's just like maybe I should believe in them just a little bit, and then it unlocks. Like he just needs to like have that ounce of just trust, that ounce of trust that he has that he got from Victoria, and then he was able to see unlock it, and now he has the copying skill, which we might see in the later part of this episode that I'm not at yet. Uh, we also saw a cute moment with Philo sleeping with Melty, which looked really cute and adorable. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at so far. So yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes to review the last ending of this episode. So we saw Nafumi saying in his party, saw Nafumi saying goodbye to the Queen of Melty, and then they also said goodbye to him. <laughs> After that, we then see uh, Melty wanted to go with them, but then she said that she didn't want to go because she had a job to do, and I guess that's the job that the Queen gave her. I guess she's still doing that job. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure that they said it, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> the part that I laughed really hard at was the blacksmith part where Nofumi went to the store to like check out his copying ability, and then he just started copying like every single shield from his shop, and he started getting angry, saying that he's ruining his business, when really he isn't. Nofumi would never buy your shield since he already has his own shield, so other people will still buy your shield. It's not like he can... like like make multiple versions of your shields, unless he can do that. It would be crazy if he could just... like duplicate shields with his own shield after 
copying other shields like that would be a strange ability if he had that ability then he would be ruining your business but if he's just copying them to transform his own shield then i don't really see it like causing any commotion but then we saw Vitaly and phil also help him and like they they started like handing him more and more shields that guy had a lot of shields in his shop it was cool and weird seeing them go back to Raftalia's village like they took a detour in their traveling because they wanted to Raftalia wanted to go there and we also saw Raftalia's friend there that uh that dude uh that guy there and then they were, uh, Rafali was saying goodbye to her parents and also saying goodbye to her Ifana trying that we met a few episodes back. <laughs> it was really weird seeing the spear guy there with the with his with his friend, with his girlfriend or whatever. Uh because like I do not remember them being at that village whatsoever. Like who knows if that's how they meant. I don't I don't think they meant that way in the manga. I think they met on the boat in the manga. Maybe it was different to light novel women novel, like I would usually say before, but man, it was really weird seeing them like meet them there and then they also met them at the boat. We also, and then we, when they got to the boat, they were like, they were like, uh, they were, they had to share the room with the spear guy and that girl again, because all the other heroes took the room. Like, like how many people do the other heroes have? Because it's just, it's just three heroes. They have four, three to four party members each, like three to three, four, five to party members each. Like how many? Like that ship was huge. There was lots of rooms. Like how? Like is it like, is there there's like one to two people per room? And we you saw how many people were in Nafumi's room. Like him, the girl. Uh, I mean, Nafumi, Philo, Raftalia, and then the guy and the girl. That's five people. Five people per room. Like, there's lots of room. They're, they're, like, they could have had a room to their own. That's Unless they had cargo in rooms, too. Then I guess that makes sense. I saw how, uh, because Raftalia was very worried about what Nafumi said about him, like, leaving them at this place. Like, she had to ask about it. And then Nafumi ends up having, like, a new, uh, a new goal to saying that he won't leave unless the other heroes leave or he won't leave unless he like like uh has them have have them make have happiness or to have them have the power to protect themselves so i guess that's a pretty good goal to have yeah this episode was pretty good i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed this setup for like what they're gonna be at but man this this is gonna have a really like there, there's only uh three episodes left so we're gonna end on a cliffhanger if i assume right because like because <laughs> like we because like they're having because they're going to this island and if they're if the island's gonna copy what's ha what happened in the manga then this is gonna end up on a cliffhanger or they're gonna go really fast so with that being said uh if you enjoyed my thoughts my opinions and stuff like that on this video leave a like if you didn't enjoy this whatsoever then leave a dislike and yeah i'll see you guys in the next review such video and stuff like that I uh, can't wait to see what this island is like, this Kalamira uh, island and stuff like that, or whatever what this is next next week's in next week's episode. So uh, yeah, bye. See you later.